everyone, it's Kelly. How are you? I am the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia, and I welcome you to our channel and especially to today's video where we have not one but two grocery hauls for you, and I will explain why in the video, while we are in our Back to Basics series in the month of November. So we are focusing on food and just very basic food shopping, just to basically feed us doesn't incorporate a whole lot of snacks and other goodies that I normally do and there's no markdown shopping in this. Uh, one little thing coming up but I'll explain that to you. So I'll turn you around and I'll show you what the haul was that we've got and then come back at the end and I'll say goodbye and have a bit of a chit chat to you. So this is the first food shop that basically is non-existent. Not quite the smallest shop ever but yeah. I started going to a few different stores just to price hunt for the week just to see because you can't always see everything from the catalogs and online. I know there's apps and websites and all the rest of it but I like to physically walk through the stores plus I'm usually doing a few clearance hunting and things like that so I check everything out. Haven't bought any clearance markdown stuff this week except for some cheese I'll get to that in a second. Um, but yeah, so first of all, I went to Woolworths and they had these hockey fish bites. They were half price for $3.50. So I grabbed them because I enjoy fish. Jeremy doesn't mind it and no one else eats it. And it's a cheap, cheap meal and then we can have that and kids can have something else. So I had grabbed that. I'd gone into NQR to have a look at something that they had advertised. And they had these two packs of 12 slices of cheese for a dollar each so I grabbed two packs because we were about to run out of normal cheese and um, but what I'll do is I'll put down the Audi price because I would have gone to Audi and bought cheese the next day if I hadn't seen that so I just grabbed it and for the sake of not using any clearance stuff this week I'll claim it as the Audi price we opened this two minute Maggi noodles We've had these in the cupboard for ages, but because we weren't well this week, it was a fend for yourself night for some meals. And so this is what some people chose to have. Perfectly fine. We pretty much ate this whole loaf of bread. I've just put it here to remind myself to talk about. I lived on honey toast pretty much for half a week. We had the honey, we had the margarine. Then other people just had regular sandwiches and other toasts as well. So, yep. <laughs> Um, iced coffee I had bought with the milk so I had done those because we had nearly run out and I was going to do a full shop and I thought I'll just grab these just in case um, and then I'll see how we go and I'm lucky that that's what I did because this is as far as I got before I got really sick and couldn't do anything so yeah and that just goes to show of how much food we had already bought and prepped and got meal plan ideas ready that we had all that stuff in the house ready to go. So this was basically just a tiny little top up shop and then we have the next shop to come. Okay, so here is the shopping hall and everything that we've got. We've got some corn kernels, we ran out of those. Replacing the lamington fingers. They're not quite finished, but we will need them by the end of the week. Got some garlic aioli, we enjoy this in sandwiches, so got this for Kira and for myself as well. Watermelon, it was $1.90 a kilo, so this was $3.38 from memory. Got the big pack of four ham, this is what we get. This is $5.50 for 400 grams. Yes, I can get cheaper elsewhere, but we haven't been going anywhere recently. I'm just sticking to one shop, Coles in out. It's also gluten free. Not that we need that, but just to point out to you guys. Um, so yeah, it's and then this will because it's all pre-sealed, so this will easily last us um, three, maybe four weeks, depends if we have pizza or anything else during the week. <laughs> Strawberry twists, uh, we get these pretty regularly. The dark chocolate ones weren't available, so I've just grabbed these. At least there's something in the house. Choc chip cookies, we finally went through the last bag, so I've replaced them with these ones. Got two cans of these crushed tomatoes, they're only a dollar each. 
I bought some ages ago on a clearance for like 70 cents and I hadn't seen them previously on the shelf so I don't know whether they brought them in as a bit of a tester but I'm happy that they're a dollar because we love crushed tomatoes. There's no extra herbs or spices or anything in them unlike the other Coles ones but they're a dollar twenty so I have dried herbs that I can throw in myself that would be cheaper than 20 cents per serving so happy with those got a can of this creamy chicken soup uh, it was on sale for $1.50 I've seen so many recipes online lately where people are just throwing this inside a pot with some rice and chicken and veggies throwing it in the oven for an hour and it's cooked so I thought I would give that a go always up for new things that are quick and simple pineapple to replace the last locks we ate them I got the Coles one rather than the Audi's I find the Audi's ones are really really big chunks and I have to chop them in half really frustrates me especially if I have cuts or anything on my hand and so yeah it makes a mess whereas these they just open them take them out use them don't need to worry about them and I just got a tuna because I was in cold. It is cheaper at Audi's. It's like $2.69 or something. But also we found that this is has more defined chunks in it. Whereas the other ones seem to be just mush in a can. We still enjoyed it for... We put it into a tuna pasta bake. So we really don't mind the end consistency. But we do find... Um, yeah, there's a difference. <coughs> Two packs of these chips for Jeremy because they're the everyday two dollars. I got two of these noodles for Kira. They are her favourite, so they are a dollar ninety. So they weren't on special this week, but last week with us being not well, at least having this in the cupboard for her to have, um, yeah, that was good for her. And then these are for hubby and he actually takes them to work so if he forgets his lunch which you've seen maybe a few times me say that he's left his lunch here for me today um, he has these at his desk so he can have them but also on the weekend if he wants something different for lunch that's not traditional ham sandwich got two boxes of these music bars we're finally out and we go through just under two packs a week some raspberry, lemonade, iced coffee and I also got this soda water because we got during the week, let me grab it for you. So my daughter loves kombucha and we saw this at Coles for 80 cents. It's normally on the shelf for about $6.50, so on clearance and being the crisp apple which is the fray flavor i like um, we thought we would try mixing it with the soda water and also with the lemonade and see how it is so whether also um how economical it would be to buy this and make it yourself compared with buying the liter bottle of kombucha so that i purchased separately but being only 80 cents i figured it wasn't a lot so that's everything for this shop kept it pretty simple and basic yes there's a few snacky things but again these are the things that we eat every week pretty much regularly so as you can see it wasn't a lot I really just shopped the basic things we needed to complete a couple of meals so putting into practice what I've been talking about I know it's amazing I actually did what I said uh, and trying to just keep that cost low I think not being well <laughs> has helped with lack of food shopping for sure but still either way we preloaded and pre-bulk bought a whole lot of stuff during the week and we've had way more than enough there happily to feed us so yeah on friday we will have a what's for dinner so you'll be able to see a lot of the previous stuff that we've had and then next week we'll wrap everything up so thank you so much for joining with me today i so appreciate your time please 
give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and let me know how your grocery hauls have been going if you've been following anything i've been doing in november or you're just happy watching either way i love having you here please consider subscribing if you haven't already and join our frugal fun family as well you can join in our facebook group so i look forward to seeing you next time bye